Hi, and welcome to Majestic.cloud. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic data lake in S3. We will use AWS Glue then to identify the schema and create the necessary tables, and then we will query the data with, with uh, AWS Athena. Before we start, I just wanted to tell you that a while ago I have created a video in which I use Athena to query the data in S3, but in that case, uh, we have manually created a table. Here we will use glue instead to automatically, automatically create it. I will link that video down in the description so you can check that out as well if you're interested in that path. Now let's get started. So this is my sample data. This uh, data was automatically generated so it's not uh, real data. In this uh, CSV file I have a bunch of uh, names, emails and uh, the car uh, that uh, some person has. So this person has the following car make, Mercury and the car model is Cougar and then also the car model year. What we will do is that we will um, upload this file to S3. This will um, be our data leak and then um, we'll use uh, glue to crawl this uh, data. It will identify the schema and then uh, with uh, glue, we will, uh, not with glue, with Athena, we will do some queries uh, uh, on this data. First of all, we'll go to S3 and create a bucket for this data. So let's do uh, create bucket and I will call this my basic data lake. Let's do a random number if anyone else has this. We'll use US East one, it's fine. We can just create the bucket and then we will create uh, my basic data lake, okay. We'll create two folders in this bucket. The first one will be the input here we will place our input data. Let's create the folder. And then we'll create another folder, which will be our output. Here, here it will be the output data. So let's create it, this one as well. So when this is done, we can go and upload the CSV file here in input. So let's do an upload here. I will upload the file it will be this one car data csv it's not a very big file but it will be good for this demo so it's uploaded and now i want to go to aws glue let's go to glue and here i want to go here to tables and then add table using a crawler okay and now i will um, call this my data lake crawler okay and this is fine let's click on next it has to be data stores here and crawl all folders here and then click on next and then I uh, need to specify um, the path here so let's use this one select and also I have to uh, append the input folder here okay and then this is fine let's click on next here we won't add another data store uh, we'll need to create an im role for this one so i'm naming it aws glue service role my data lake and this is fine now let's click on next i have the option to run this uh, crawler either on demand or on a schedule but i will run it on demand right now let's click on next and then what I want to do is uh, I will add a database and I will call it 
my data lake cars for example and let's click on create the prefix will can use car data okay and then this is fine I don't have to select anything else here click on next and finish and then my crawler is created and what I want to do now is check my uh, crawler and run it so usually this uh, can take uh, from a few seconds to few minutes or even more depending on how large is your data set so my crawler is right now starting and now I will pause the video and wait until it finishes so after about one minute uh, my uh, crawler finished running and it created a new table so let's go and look at that table you go here on the databases tables and I have this table car data input and let's click on it and if I click on it I can see the schema which was discovered which is the same that I had on uh, in the CSV file that I showed you earlier I have these uh, columns and data types and now this seems to be fine now let's go to Athena let's search for Athena and there we can run queries against this data okay and now it's loading the tables we need to wait a bit so my data loaded I have here this AWS data catalog and the databases within it I have this my data lake cars table and I can see here the schema and this is some old query which was preserved here I will now run a new query and will type uh, simple query select everything from car data input where car make equals Chevrolet so let's run this query and you can see that I have here this uh, result and now I will further refine this query and car model year is less than 1990 let's run it again and now I have only the uh, people with uh, Chevrolet cars uh, older than 1990 so this is how um, you can query this data which was discovered by uh, the glue crawler uh, and which is resides in S3 now I wanted to tell you something about Athena because uh, there is a, a notice if you didn't use uh, Athena before then um, it says that you need to set up your query query result location and you cannot run the queries until you set uh, that query result location so you can do that by uh, setting up uh, um, S3 uh, bucket um, and uh, the folder in the S3 bucket as the result location for me it didn't show here because I already used uh, Athena but for you it might show up and you then need to specify that query result location and I suggest you use um, uh, this bucket you've created and uh, here you have the output folder you can set the output folder as the query result location so this is it for now I hope you like this video if you did uh, click on the like button subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon with another video here on Majestic.cloud. Have a great day.